All right, guys, you gotta bear with me. I don't normally cook on my island. However, for the sake of showing you everything, I'm gonna try to do it this way today. Um, this is by far my favorite crock pot. I have several. Also, since all of my little people are at home now, you are going to hear all sorts of background music because we're all home getting things done. So um, first things first, this is, like I said, my favorite slow cooker. Okay, it's the all clad, all in one browner. Um, it browns, it steams, it slow cooks, it does everything. Um, I've never used this, the steamer, but it's available. I love this product. So it's super cool when I am um, making short ribs because I don't need to use the stove. I can brown them in here, braise them in here, um, and then turn them on, cook them for four hours, and they're delicious. And we're making popcorn in the background. And I got this product from William Sonoma. So I am going to turn it on to the brown setting at about 350 um, and let that start preheating while I get the short ribs seasoned. Everything ready. One other thing, because I know I'm going to get questions about this. If you've been following me for a while, you know I don't cook without my wine and my music. So tonight, Wine Down Wednesday, I'm having one of my favorites, Educated Guests. And the station I'm playing right now is uh, Pandora PM Dawn. Prime Minister Dawn, as I learned the other day. I asked for PM Dawn like eight times and Alexa was like, would you like for me to add Prime Minister Dawn? And I kept saying no until I looked it up and realized <laughs> that's actually his name. So that's the station for now. We might pick it up if we keep running into too much Sade because she's kind of slow tonight. So I'm going to season with... All right, so basically I season these with um, kosher salt and pepper to start. And you can add other seasonings. The crock pot's ready. Just heard the beep. So we can get so these. I'm just gonna put a little vegetable oil in here. Some people use olive oil, but um, and normally I do too, but for this I use vegetable oil. Let that get hot. All right, this time I'm rolling these in a little bit of flour, just a little bit. I don't always do it. It's not necessary. Um, just helps it get a little more crispy. So that's why I'm doing that. Using about five pounds of all in there. Hopefully you can see what that looks like. Um, so I'm gonna let these braise and let me turn this up just a little. All right, I cranked that up just a bit. I'm, um, I'm not my usual element here. So you wanna do it around 400 um, and I had it around 350. So turn those up. Brown them on each side before you go to the next step. All right, I'm gonna flip these over. They're looking good. All right, so while these are braising, um, if you're new to following me, I am a big crocker. Um, we have a very busy family. We're on the go a lot, and this is a great way for me to get meals done. Um, and be able to make something yummy for the kids um, and save some time. So I'm a big fan and this is the only way I know how to make short ribs actually. It's kind of a tougher meat and so this keeps them very tender and delicious. All right, these look like they are ready. So I'm going to plate them so that I can put the vegetables in here and get them sauteed. Leave all the oil inside. So I'm gonna add some onions, some celery, a little parsley, and some garlic. Okay, so once the onions start to get translucent, um, I'll add in the celery, like two stalks of celery and some carrots. I don't really know how many carrots, just all right, once that starts to smell good, I add, I like garlic, we like garlic a lot, so just like a tablespoon, and let that go, a little oregano, and we have a little um, parsley chopped up, 
And I'll throw some of that in there too. All right, so by now everything's smelling amazing. So I'm gonna add a can of tomato paste and a bottle of wine. So like six, not a whole can, about half a can. I'm gonna use the whole bottle. I turned this down to about 375 um, for the vegetable. So then once I pour in the wine, um, I let it come up to simmer, which doesn't take long. And once that happens, I put the short ribs back inside. And then I add a little beef um, stock preferably, but beef broth works just as well. I didn't have any stock. I usually use most of this. And then I simply uh, switch my setting over to slow for four hours. We're going to be eating dinner really late tonight, but I'm, I really wanted to give you this presentation because you've been asking for it. So I hope you enjoy it. Um, it really won't take four hours because we round them. It'll probably take like three, but if you got the time on your hands, let it cook for four. They're delicious with mashed potatoes, but I don't have mashed potatoes tonight, so we're gonna have yellow rice and broccoli.